In every plantation amidst the food crops, the taro, the coconut and cassava, mulberry trees are planted for use in tapa making. The cuttings are planted in rows, with enough space between so they can be easily tended as the straight stems grow rapidly skyward. It is the straightness that makes the mulberry so valued, and the growers help this by daily tending the plants, breaking off any shoots that grow from the main stem. If you leave it too late, it will branch out like this, and it will not go straight as like this. Well cared for Altair have the shoots removed before they develop into branches but a small green branch can still be snapped and left to die off. Once a branch becomes woody, however, it will leave a scar in the bark, a blemish that will lessen the quality of the finished product and make the work of the tupper maker more difficult. OK, on this plantation, you can see that the colouring of the hiapo is starting to change from uh, this colour to a more white pale color. This is the color that indicates that the plantation is ready to be harvested. Plants are harvested two to four years after planting. Older plants will yield a coarser bark and will be more suitable for the under layer of the tupper cloth. Younger, finer bark will provide the top layer and the trees are sorted and packed up according to their size before being taken to be stripped. In its original home in East Asia, the mulberry bears seed, but here in the Pacific it has to be propagated from cuttings. Once a tree is harvested, it will send out lateral roots from which seedlings will grow, and it is these that the growers remove for the new planting. 